But hey folks, Rise360 just dropped something brand new and I think you're really gonna like it. It's called the Code Block. And what the Code Block lets you do is, is add interactive code-driven projects right inside your Rise360 project. So it's, it's kind of like the embed block, only you don't need to host the project externally. You can just drop in your own HTML, CSS, JavaScript right into the block and see it run instantly. Now, maybe you're thinking, wait a minute, Dave, I don't code. That's, that's why I use Rise in the first place. Well, don't worry, I don't, I don't code either, but that's where, where AI can help. So tools like ChatGPT, Claude, Canva code, they can help you crank out snippets of HTML, CSS, and even JavaScript for you. So all you need to do is tell it or, or prompt it to create what you want. And the best part, you can just drop the code right into Rise360 and then see that interaction instantly. So I'm gonna show you how it works. Real quick, just before we dive in, um, the thing's still in beta, which means, yeah, it's a little fluid. Features will shift, some options may disappear, others may get polished. That's just the part of the beta ride. So let me show you how it works. All right, so I'm in Rise, and let's say I wanna add a, a mortgage calculator. So I like Canva code, but Claude, ChatGPT, lovely. A lot of apps can let you do this. I'm just gonna click code for me and let's just tell it what I want it to do. So you just essentially describe what type of interaction it is you want. So let's say create a, a mortgage pricing calculator, calculator, something simple, right? That's, that's enough of the prompt for me, tell it to go and it's gonna generate all this code for me. So the neat thing here is that it's gonna generate everything in line in a single HTML page that I can copy all of this code right in and just drop it right into Rise. So let it do its thing. Look at that code going. <laughs> I don't know how long it would take me to, to learn to do that. I probably, probably would never learn to do that. So it'll just take a moment here. And then once we get this first round created, we can tell it to make changes to it if, if we wanna see something different. Let's just see what it gives us on this first try. Okay, cool. So you can see the calculator right here. We've got their loan details, and then you have your monthly payment breakdown. Now, maybe that's more advanced than you need. We could come back in here and say simplify and just create the calculator part. I'm gonna leave it as is. But one thing I noticed is that I am using some colors that I would like to see this done. So maybe you want to see some color change. And so let's just say, can you change the blue gradient color to single? And I'm just gonna put a hex value in. Let's say this is my branding color. So I can make some changes right here and tell it to update. And it's gonna make those changes. And again, you can make it as a single calculator. You can make it shorter. This one has a lot going on right here. We'll just give it a second here and there's the update. So there's my blue color, has the blue background. Whether I want that or not, I can say make a white background but essentially we have our calculator. Actually, what I'm gonna say is I use a transparent background. So this will be nice because then I can color code the block and rise any color that I like. So the background should be transparent, which means if I wanna change the color and rise, I can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna accept this. I'm gonna show up the code up here. You can see it just says show code. I'll say show code. Now the way Canva code works is you copy the code. In some, in some apps, you would download the zip file. So either way, it's gonna work. So I copied the code. Let's go over to our Rise course, and I'm gonna open up my block library here. And then down here at the bottom, we have the custom code. So just click that. And we have the two options of adding the code, which is what we're gonna do here because we have, we've copied it. Or if you had a zip file, you can just paste it. You can upload a zip. So I'll say add code. And then we just need to come in here, add code, and there it is. So click Control V to paste and check that out. There's my mortgage calculator. Pretty cool, right? And if you, you know, you don't have to know code, but let's say we didn't really like that icon right there. We could come in, edit this, and it's next to mortgage. So I'll say Control F, mortgage calculator. Up oh, right there, you can see the little icon right there next to that. I'm just gonna select my cursor in there and backspace to get rid of that. You can modify anything right here to, to check it out. But now we have a interactive calculator right here within Rise. If I preview this, what's nice is you'll see everything is still going to be responsive. Check that out, right? So now it just separates everything into a vertical 
a vertical block rather than side by side when we're on the desktop view. But that's how easy it is. What I'd recommend you do a couple things to get started. Join our code block community and you can join this from e in eLearning Heroes. You can see examples that other folks are sharing. You can share your own examples or even ask for help on customization. And then we also have the Rise user guide that'll help really explain everything that this does right now. But again, just remember it's in beta, so things could change a little bit, but this is here to stay. So totally safe to use this for your own projects. Things like the interface may change and some things, things like that. So just keep that in mind, but it's absolutely safe to use for your own projects because you're, you're bringing that code directly in and that's all self-contained within, within Rise. All right, hope you enjoy it.